Hey guys, it's ADAF here, and today I'm going to be showing you the fastest cars in the crew. Um, I'm going to be doing this. This um, episode is going to be the fastest um, Perth cars. And then the pun. Then in the next episode is the fastest dirt, fastest raid, fastest circuit, and fastest street, fastest monster truck, and so on and so forth. Did that even make any sense? Um, so the first. So the first car we're going to be reviewing today is the Pagani Huayra. Um, notice I've, there's no music in the background at all, you can't barely hear anything, actually I don't even think you can hear anything at all, because otherwise you won't be able to hear my voice, because my microphone is crap. <coughs> but anyway, I'm going to get straight into it, so this is the speed test for the Pagani Huayra, as you can see, yep, I've got my, um, this is how fast it is, completely maxed out to level 1299, um, this isn't the actual speed test, now it is, because we're on the main stretch of road, um, crashed already wow how did that do damage to the back but anyway um i'm going to use nitrous so this is how fast uh, the pagani huara kind of goes um it's not the fastest because that bit was uphill and there's quite a few traffic which means i'm gonna have to turn like around to avoid it and that mountain just came into view but anyway this is the main stretch of road that we're on so it can do about 224 miles an hour i'm not sure how fast it can go this is only on a straight remember with a few turns in it this is the fastest road I could find on the whole map of the wild run. So this is um how fast the Pagani Huayra can go. Um, so yeah, that is how fast the Pagani Huayra can go. And I don't know why, but the turning on the crew now seems really bad. So anyway, that is the Pagani Huayra. A total speed of 224 miles per hour. <laughs> so next, ladies and gentlemen... Oh, Probably just gentlemen. I'm not being gay because I'm, I'm guessing girls don't are not going to type this in on YouTube or even click on our channel. But the next is the um, car. I the next car is the Mercedes McLaren SLR, as you can see here. Looks very very nice. Even though it's kind of wrecked mine because it doesn't look very nice. Well, actually, no, it doesn't look too bad. But anyway, we're going to get straight into the speed test. And yeah, I, I did knock off that turn. Oh wait, no, I didn't because now I'm going freaking round it. But anyway, um, hope um, I'm expecting this car to be quite fast. I'm not expecting it to be good at turning because no car on the crew is pretty good at turning anymore, in my opinion. Because like I think they've wrecked the turning because like you just touch you just touch the analog stick and that will freaking like turn 360 degrees pretty much. So anyway, this is how fast it can go. We're already up to 234 miles an hour, so it's already 10 miles an hour faster than the Huayra. But I did use nitrous then, so the speed is going down. Um, so with full nitrous, um, this car is able to reach 234 miles an hour. Um, I actually use this car and as the Pagani Huayra as well in many um, perf events in PvP when I actually play this game, which I don't really much. I just use it to make videos. Shit, that's a turn. <laughs> But anyway, um, the total speed for this car is 234. The Pagani Huayra might have been a bit faster than I said it was. Like 224, it might have been a bit faster than that because I, I said that it was 224 when I wasn't using nitrous, so it might have been a bit faster. I can't remember now. But anyway, the total, sp the maximum speed for this car along a straight on the Bonneville Salt Pla Flats using full tank and nitrous is 234 miles per hour. We. Right guys, we are back with the next car, it is the Koenigsegg Ajira R, or Ajira, I don't know why I call it Ajira, but Ajira R, as you can see, mine looks actually quite cool, or well, it does, well, I think it does anyway. So this car, um, in real life, actually overtook the Bugatti Veyron Supersport for the world's um, fastest road car, I don't think it does anymore, well, so I don't know, but we're, um, anyway, we're already up to um, 195 here, now 200. And I haven't even used any nitrous yet, bearing in mind. I'm going to wait until um, we've um, gone over this hill. I'm going to start using nitrous now. So we're already up to 225, 230. Can we reach 230? No, we can't reach 230. Oh, no, we didn't reach 230. In real life, this car can do about 260-something, I think. Don't have a go at me if I'm wrong. But anyway, if you do know the total speeds for all of these cars that I've, um, I've tested today, then be sure to drop a comment below. Well, that's dangerous. Well... I can't talk because I'm doing 225 miles an hour down an interstate, but still. <laughs> it's probably not even an interstate, it's just a motorway. I don't know, really know much about whatever that is. But anyway, we, this car can do about 229 miles an hour with nitrous. So um, it's the second fastest car I've tested today. Um, so yeah, next car. We do 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 do. Oh shit. <laughs> anyway, next car. 
The next car, guys, is going to be the Pagani Zonda F. This is a relatively new car to the crew. Um, it came out about a month after the Wild Run came out, or something around that time. I've never actually used this car. I maxed it to 1299 and then never used it. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, so um, hopefully it will surprise me as we enter the Bonneville Salt Road. That's what I'll call it, the Bonneville Salt Road. Um, so yeah, oh crap, I just used all my nitrous shit. Um, so this car might be actually a bit faster than I originally think it is, mainly because I've just used all my nitrous, but we are up to 200 miles an hour, 205 miles an hour, 210 miles an hour, I might slow down a bit there because of the hill, but anyway, we're still going up, guys, we're still going up, 220 miles an hour after using nitrous, 200, can we hit 225 miles an hour? I don't know if we can, yes we can actually, right, let's use what I've got left of my nitrous, and we've actually overtaken the Koenigsegg, so this is, um, so far, about one or two miles an hour faster. I didn't even I didn't look if it could do 236. But we're up to we're, um we're still it's still going good around 230. So 230 miles an hour is the speed it will stop at, but it will go up to 235, 236 ish if you push it um ahead with nitrous. But anyway, this is a really good car. Shit, <laughs> this is a really good car. I've never actually used it. I'll just give you a quick example of the turning. You turn it and that does it's what it's like really stiff and it wobbles all over the place and you have to look really a pro gamer to get it back up again. Right, I've got full nitrous, so let's just give it one more go. Du -du -du -du. Oh, crap, hold on. I might not do anything. I've just had a TV warning saying it's been on for too long because I'm a retard who sits on PlayStation all day. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is quite a fast car. Definitely use it. The next car I'll be trying out is the LaFerrari, which means the Ferrari. So, in English, that'd be called the Ferrari. The Ferrari. But anyway, um, I haven't actually used this car since the Wild Run came out. I used it once when I first got the Wild Run, and it was just rubbish. It was one of them cars that was good in the ordinary crew, but when the Wild Run just came out, it just turned just pathetic, really. So I might as well give it a speed test. Um, so, yeah, let's give it a quick go. Um, 100 miles an hour already. There's 130, 140, 50, 60. Right, so we're going good so far. I've, I've remembered not to use my nitrous until we get over this little dumpy, shitty hill over here. So, no nitrous yet. I really wish you could turn traffic off and those stupid little gay lampposts, because they're really annoying. I just realised this video is quite long. <laughs> well, I think it is. <laughs> right, so up to 214-ish now, so now I'm going to use my nitrous. And there's 225, easily up to 230. Well, it's not easily. So, um, I think we got um 231 miles an hour out of the LaFerraris. Quite magnificent engine there. We're going to give it one more shot with like a quarter tank of nitrous. Yep, so 231-ish is the maximum speed for the LaFerrari LaFerrari. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the next car... I don't know why I keep saying ladies and gentlemen. It must be quite annoying. The next car... We're going to go on to some of the slower cars now. We're going to move on to um, this Lotus Exige S. I think that's what it's called. Something like that. I check here? No. Um, but anyway, I just have the gay thing where you want to say yes or no, but if you say yes, you go yes. And if, if you say no, you go no. Oh. But um, yeah, Harry will know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, uh, we're, all, we're actually quite easily up to 190 already. A 190 foot draft. Um, so there's 205. I haven't actually used up any nitrous yet. Whoa, shit, the bed. Um, do we get 210 out of this? Yes, we can. Right, we're going to use 200. No, we're going to use nitrous after we get over this hill. So three, two, one. One nitrous attacko, bloody hell! Holy shit! That's Bugatti Veyron speed right there. Oh, oh no, oh, you fucking cunt! Um, ah shit! Oh, oh yeah, as you can tell, I'm not a very good driver. I I got this car up to 254 miles an hour. This is one I I barely use this car. Actually, no, I use this car a lot. This car is really good. I don't know why I said, oh, let's use the slower cars because this car is actually really good. But anyway, we got um, Bugatti Veyron speed out of that. We got 254 miles an hour, which is pretty good considering it's a Lotus. Um, so yeah, that is the fastest car we've tested so far. And on to the next car. Well, don't know how many more there's going to be, but still, next car. Right, the next car... No, I didn't say ladies and gentlemen that time. But the next car we're going to be testing, and this might be one of the last cars, if not the last car, is the Maserati Gran Turismo. I think it's S or something like that. But anyway, let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into testing this. I've n I have never use this at all. I literally buy all the cars that look good, 
drive them around on free drive for f five minutes to see if they're worth it or not to what, use in PvP events or summit or whatever. And like, if they're not good, then I'll just leave them in my fucking garage and don't use them. I don't know why I said leave them in my garage, because you can't do that. Well, I don't know, I'll keep fucking up in this video, but anyway. And um, we're already up to 2... Th we're nearly up to 2.30. Can we reach 2.28? Two two no, we're going down. So I think the maximum speed for this car is 227. Oh, no, it's 228! Shit, if I wasn't actually paying attention to the speedo and paying attention to the road, I could have actually carried on. So this car is around the 2.30 mark. Um, I could have got it to around 2.30 if I was actually paying attention to the road and not the speedo, which is kind of defeating the object. But anyway... The maximum speed for this car is about 228 to 231 miles an hour. Yeah. Ish. Well. This is weird. How the bloody. I'd literally just spawned. Fucking wow. Oh, pardon. <laughs> Wee. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, fuck it. Say it. I said it again. Um, this is. That is the last car. Um, I'm going to be reviewing this episode. Next episode of the crew car speed test things. Um, it's going to be like a, this. Um, as this, um, we did Perth today, as you fuck sake. I did it on a road in um, near the salt flats. Um, say when I do dirt, I'll do it on a dirt track. And when I do raid, I'll probably do it in the mountains or something. So um, next episode is going to be street. So I'll probably do it in like New York or something or Chicago, so a city like there. Actually, I'll probably do it in Detroit, because that's quite a packed up place at the moment. Um, so yeah, hopefully if you enjoyed this video, hopefully you did. Um, if you want me to test a certain street car in the next video, say, Ooh, I'm, I really want Archie to test a Nissan GTR Skyline in street, then comment that down below. And if I see that comment, which I probably will, because that'll probably be the only comment on there. If not, none of the comments will be on there. But I'll definitely see it, and I'll review them in um, an episode, or in a later episode. But anyway, if you did enjoy this, then um, be sure to leave a like and um, why not subscribe? Be a subscriber today. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this um, and tune in whenever soon to um, see more videos of the crew and more gaming videos and vlogs and shit. So yeah, that's it for now. So, toodle pip! <laughs>